What is going on everybody? Welcome into the Five Foreign Fisherman YouTube channel. On today's episode, Ada and I, and uh, where are they at here? We got River somewhere, right there. I was like, I couldn't see her. We have River and uh, Lily, and Lily. We have both puppies today, and we are going to do some crabbing, and uh, we're going, we're actually driving about two and a half hours because I really would like to target Dungeness crab and red rock crab simply because then you have like two times you know you can get like two times as many kind of things they also have green crabs which are really invasive and so we might squish them well we might keep them and eat them you can eat green crabs you can eat green crabs are they good i don't know i've never eaten one well they're very scary looking cook green crab possibly i don't know i've never actually caught any we caught then, them did there. we catch them yeah there? that's the first time i ever saw a green crab that's oh. when we pulled it up and it was full of nothing but green crabs. Really? And you were like, those things are nasty. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, uh, we have to run in. Uh, let's, like, restart this here. For bait today, I'm actually going to be using some steel steelhead carcass that I have in one pot. And the other pot, we're going to try chicken. So we're going to see, like, which one works better. So we are currently on our way to Walmart. We are going to go in. We are going to get some chicken. And we are going to get some secret sauce that we are going to put on the chicken to see if it, like... If it makes any Not bit of difference. Not all the chicken, because every time you put it on all the chicken, none of the crabs eat it. Yes, but you guys will end up seeing that secret sauce once we get there. So once we get to Walmart, we're gonna go inside Walmart. We're gonna get what we need, and then we're gonna continue our journey. So stay tuned. Get out of here. Maybe tell them about how the dogs choked off. Yeah, the dogs literally were sprinting down the hill and then they just fell off this cliff. Like for perspective, it's probably 20 feet down. They just it's all the way down from the ocean coming so high. It's cold. It is way too cold, guys. Come on, River, come on. Alright, we'll see you guys at the crabbing walk. Alright everybody. We have made it out here to the crabbing dock because you guys can see. Is I don't have any crab pots with me because we already walked them out here because they're so dang heavy. But yeah, this place is super cool. Um, I'm in Charleston. Just, I, you know, with crabbing and stuff like that, I don't care about giving locations away. But this place is super awesome. Aiden and I have done really good here before. I've actually already seen a sea lion, which is super interesting because 
We might end up like possibly, oh look at this guy. But we might end up seeing him on the camera. So we're gonna walk out here. We'll uh, throw you guys on the GoPro in the crab trap because we're gonna see like what happens down there. Well, we'll show that in a little bit. But we're gonna throw it down, you guys down there. We'll see what happens. And then uh, catch you guys on the pull up. All right. Crab pot going in. All right, everybody. Well, we got a super invasive green crab. I didn't show you pulling the pot up because it just has the GoPro in it, so I figured why not? But we're actually going to do a catch and cook. What do you see? Oh, our friend Timmy the Seal. Yeah, comment down below what we should name it. He's but, been uh, coming around all day. Got our uh, green crab, so we're going to catch and cook this guy once we get back to the house. Show how big its pinchers are. So yeah, it's we'll little, just... but... Yeah, I mean, like, comparatively to my hand, he's not very big, but his pinchers are, like, the size of regular Dungeness. And they're... This is a pretty big one. They don't get very big, so... Cool. We'll uh, see you guys on the next bowl. All right, guys. Well, let's break out the secret sauce. Tabasco. We're going to cover the chicken and then see if we get, like, more or less. Because how many was in this pot when we pulled it? Probably 20? Maybe? Probably, like, 15. I think so. Let's sauce this bad boy up here. And I don't know why Tabasco works so well, but I think it works. I don't know, maybe not. I don't think it works. I know if you were to like soak a towel or something in it and put it in there, I personally think that that would be the best way to do it, in, in my opinion. You sauce it up, boys. Sauce it up. Okay. It smells so spicy, holy cow. Now let's close this bad boy up here. Oh, we got spicy snow. You wanna eat some spicy snow? I'm good. The dog's probably good. It's also kinda crazy too that like all the snow is gone now. Alright, ready? Probably because we've been walking out here. Alright everybody, let's pull the next one. Set that there. Oh look at the seal! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Seal. Oh, we just lost a huge one. Dang it. Ooh, there's a keeper green crab in here. Heck yeah, that's definitely a keeper green crab. But there's not nearly as many in this pot. But that's a for sure keeper green crab. Look. <laughs> he is angry. We took his fish. I know. I really want to, um, we're keeping that guy. 
I really want to get this back in the water because I have the GoPro in here, so I want to see if the sea line will mess with it down there. We're going to do a green, cab, green crab catch and cook tonight. Yeah, because we, get we have another one now, so. All right. Let's see how much battery we have on the GoPro. She is still rocking and rolling. Let's see. I want that sea line to come look at it. Oh, here comes another one. I really honestly like want him to see it because they're both going to come over here and like it. I know that sounds dumb, but I really want them to go look at the fish in there and get it on camera. So stay tuned. All right, guys, it's cold. And it's, you know, it's like a little bit after three o'clock. So let's pull these bad boys up and we'll see what we got. This could be the last pull because we have a long drive home. It's kind of heavy. There's definitely some in it. I just got snow in my mouth. Yeah, I know. I keep getting all my beard. <laughs> There's quite a few in there. Look at that. Oh, There's quite a few in there. So let's uh, pull this one and we'll empty them all out. Last pull for the day, guys. Maybe we'll get a nice, another nice keeper green crab because it'd be nice to eat more than two. We've never had them, so we're going to. There. No green lanes. Dang it. I'll just pick females again. The, Look, GoPro, the GoPro just, died. just died. Perfect timing. That was actually perfect. Holy cow. Sweet guys. Well, we're going to get these guys dumped out and then see you guys at the house. What do you think? I'm scared. So, Ada did some research and Apparently these little guys absolutely taste amazing. Yeah, they're like, you know, like blue crab? I don't know what blue crab is. It's well, not... it's like a really sweet crab that's apparently really good. Apparent people have said that they taste better than that. Really? Well, go ahead and put them in there. And they're dead. Go ahead and start a timer on there for 15 minutes. I've never started a timer on there. Just hit timer. I don't know how to do that. Nice. Timer. Yeah, you don't have to do it for 15 probably, but all right. We'll see you guys in 15 minutes. Stay tuned. Show the crabs. <laughs> oh God, that's so close. Okay, well anyway, so when crabs, when you're cooking them and they start to float, that means they're done. These guys aren't done. By the way, guys, these are actually some of the we stopped and got some Dungeness, but that's not for the video. That's for my own pleasure. We're going to catch and cook these crabs, which is weird because I think they're called green crabs, right? They're European green crabs, but when you cook them, they're red. So I don't know how I'm going to... Because, like, normally, you know, you just kind of... Let's do this over the sink. Normally, you just kind of pop the shell here, but they're these guys are so small. They don't get much bigger than this. They, like, these are pretty big for gr European green crabs, I guess. So, I'm just going to kind of try to pop the shell open. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. That's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Perfect. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's turn this on here. Let's run some out here. There's a leg. Let's see, bad man is out. These things are like kind of gross, but they're so full of meat. Like, look how packed that meat is. They're completely full. That's good. That's actually like perfect. That's what you want. Yeah, there's one. And uh, clean this guy. Okay, we're going to get these guys cleaned up and then we'll uh, catch you guys back in just a second to eat them. All right, you guys are propped up here. So. I'll just kind of give you guys a little close up here. Looks pretty dang good to me. Big meaty juicy claws there. So how do you want to do it? Do you want to eat the body first? Sure. So just crack. We gotta like <laughs> these things are this one looks easier. Yeah, they're so small, you guys. Like, there's not really a whole lot to them here. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I gotta get like a nice meaty chunk here, you know. I got a meaty chunk. Okay, let's see. You got a good chunk? I can't get a good chunk. Mine's all just like shell. I don't want to eat shell. It doesn't sound like a good time. Okay, well, I have like some there in my hands, guys. There's not really a whole lot, so ready? 
Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I really like that. It's actually pretty That's good. That's so good. It's actually pretty good. Can we go just for these next time? Good luck. Yeah, like, the shells guys are so hard. But and I don't, it's so good. Yeah, I don't have any crab crackers, so look at that. That's the best crab I've ever had. Is it? You think it's that good? Yeah. I don't know. Dungeness is pretty hard to beat. No. This is so sweet. It's like candy. It is pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. For them being, like, invasive, you know, not good for us. And I don't know why. Okay, well, for some reason, the camera failed because it's my nice camera and the GoPro, or that SD card is just trash, so... Anyways, like I was saying, I'll drop a little like link down below for like the ODFW thing. Why? Why they're invasive? Like what? You know? Because I know that there's somewhere uh, on there that says that. But let's try the shell, the legs. Yeah, we actually. Yeah, we're gonna eat the legs really quick. Gotta find like a juicy leg. Just gotta hit it. Oh, you cracked yours like perfectly. I'm just that skilled. Is it like hard? Is it hard to still crack after? No. Okay, let me see. Why is it yellow in there? I don't know that's what color the meat is. Yeah, I gotta crack that again here. Dude, these things are so hard to crack, you guys. I am like, oh my god. Okay, so I got some meat. Let's try the leg. Is it good? Oh my god. I bro, I can't get mine out. Quit eating without me. This isn't fair. It's so good. I can't get mine out, dude. Oh, can I eat all of this? Go for it. I'll eat my dungeon this once it's done. But anyways, guys, yeah, I'm gonna, let me just eat this really quick. Okay, well, that crab is done, so I'm trying to- I don't to, know where my phone is. It's in your pocket. Oh. Okay. Da -da. okay, I got my piece out here, so. That, I have to eat this on camera. I literally have to. I have to get it out and eat it. Oh, it screwed me, dude. Well, anyways, guys, cheers to you guys. That was going to end up doing it for this episode. As you guys can tell, green crabs are absolutely amazing. I definitely would recommend you guys eating them. The, even the dogs want to eat them. So, see you guys' faces on the next adventure. Till next time, peace, stay fishy, everybody.